Hi and welcome back to Bike Speeds. This week we're going to service this 2014 Felt Z100. We were astounded at what work we did to this bike. We're going to replace the chain, we're going to replace the rear derailleur cable, we're going to do some extra work on the rear derailleur that you may not have seen in our videos before. We're going to sort out some detailing on the frame, we're going to change the cassette. There's a lot going on with this video. We found so many little things with this bike and we've transformed it. So as you can see here initially, the chain is, well, it's had it, it's absolutely had it. You can see there the slack that's on that chain, on that chain set. Very, very worn, very, very tired. The customer had actually replaced his rear cassette recently. And I think he thought that was his issues with his shifting of his gears not working quite right. But it wasn't even that chain stretched out that far that was causing the gears not to work. So we'll show you that as we go. This was the root problem of his gear shifting. He put a nine speed cassette on this bike and it was actually an eight speed shifter. So it was going up the initial three or four gears. But then as it was going through a tighter rein of gears, it was not changing gear nicely at all. And this problem with the derailleur, this should flick back with a strong spring. And you can see there how it's just holding itself and it's gradually popping back to its home position. As you change gear, that spring's operating all the time to put constant tension on the chain to give a good gear shift. So we're going to have to address that spring on this rear derailleur as well. It's quite common on this genre of derailleur for that spring to actually clog up. So we'll deal with that along the way. We're going to strip the bike down as normal. So off come the components that we're going to put through the ultrasonic cleaner, really clean those up. You can see how thick the grease is on this bike. The oil that he's using on his chain is a little bit thick, really. You want a very, very thin oil on a bike. So that's why he's got this buildup of debris and grease and oil on his components. Take off the chain set. We want to put these chain rings through. Although the chain was very stretched, the large chain ring there, it is beginning to show wear, but it still grips a new chain nicely. And purpose of this bike, I don't think it's necessary to replace that. So we didn't in this instance. We're going to replace the rear brake pads. They were very, very worn as well. They'd gone through the little grooves that were on them. So they'd gone through to a surface that wouldn't break very well. So we're going to also replace those rear brake pads. But we're also going to take off the front caliper itself, get it through the ultrasonic cleaner, re-lubricate it, make sure it's operating correctly. And we do that with all the components. We're going to take this derailleur apart, get those jockey wheels off, get those through the ultrasonic cleaner. And we're also going to address that spring that was not returning correctly so we'll just pop that out of here along with the pivot point itself that will all go through the ultrasonic cleaner and we'll deal with that in due course we're also going to take the entire chain sets off of the arm so that that can all go through you can see here they don't quite fit in our ultrasonic cleaner but we'll turn those as it's running away so we'll do sort of 10 minutes one side 10 minutes the other and, and they'll clean up nicely so we'll wash down this housing everything now has been through the ultrasonic cleaner that we want to go through so now we wash those components down with warm soapy water. We'll dry those off with a microfiber towel, maybe even blow them out with an airline to get them nice and dry. And that's what we're doing here is making sure that we lift off and take off that actual degreaser that we've used on the component and also helps wash off the residues of grease that are left on the component. Now the pivot that goes through the derailleur here, the one that was sticking, I'm just using 1200 grit wet and dry there just to really shine that surface up and really get it back to original because there was a little bit of corrosion on there and it dried out and gone nasty. So we made sure that, that you can see there how much better that looks. It's absolutely as it was originally. So we've cleaned that up nicely. We're also re-lubricating it and then we should just pop that back together and that pivot now will work correctly. So we put the components together and then there's a little retaining spring clip on there which we pop in, we use a little socket there just to hold everything together and pop that spring in there. And now we continue our journey as we do with most other videos where we lubricate the jockey wheels themselves. We're using our premium grease. Those greases are all available on our website. We do a little selection of five or you can buy them individually for either topping up your selection or if you just wanted one particular grease that you see us using during our videos, you can get those on our website. So now we're putting the derailleur back together. That's all looking good. I also lubricate the thumb adjusters. They're not lubricated from standard, but I use a little bit of copper grease on the threads and a little bit of general purpose grease on the thumb adjuster itself. Get that back in. That will stop that binding and bonding in and ever sticking so that I know that that's correct. 
and also just lubricate the spring of the derailleur to stop that corroding and then I use our general purpose oil on the pivot points to make sure that everything's operating as it should and almost as good as new if not better than new so that's what we're doing here with the front and rear derailleur and I also use the same process on the skewers that go through the wheel so I'll lubricate those with our various greases you'll see this in other videos as well pop the springs back on and they now sit to one side ready for the wheels to go back on I'm going to pop the new brake pads onto these calipers I tend to do this on the bench to sit them roughly where they'll be so that when I put it onto the bike I know roughly that everything's in place and I also use a little bit of uh, silicon grease there on the slider of the brake just to make sure that, that also operates correctly now I'm going to put the chain set back together so I do just put a little bit of general purpose grease here on the arm itself again to stop anything bonding long term so that if it has to come apart again in the future I've put a little bit of grease on there to stop anything binding I know that that will come apart nicely in the future so I'm going to talk these up on the bench I like to with the front chain rings and the front derailleur make sure that everything is its final torque and position when I put it back on the bike and now I'm just going to wash this bike down so we use a little soapy spray there we're using our big softy brush again available on our website to wash down the frame these are a lovely soft brush they don't scratch and they just work in and get any dirt off of a bike that you need to get off it they're just a lovely way of washing a bike down without getting it super wet so that you get water in the bearings you can just wash them down with this without putting too much water on and then I'll use a microfiber towel just to dry that frame back off again to make sure that it's as it should be now with this one we had a sticker residue on the frame here you can see that there maybe that was a starting number or something to do with an event but we're using our glue and sealant remover this is a new product to us we've been trying this one out we have added this to our website but it's absolutely great for getting residue off of frames and also sealant from your tubeless wheels it'll take the sealant out from there as well it's a great product that one now I'm washing down the rear wheel and hub this was actually covered in black grease like the drivetrain but it all came off with a wash and a microfiber towel so that's sorted now a little bit of general purpose grease on the hub there and then we are now putting on an 8 speed cassette this is the brand new cassette so that we now know that this is correct with the shifter and it will shift gear nicely when it goes back on now you've seen this I would say 80% of the services I do I have to turn a tire to put it over a valve to line up the logo over the valve and often turn a tire around so that it's actually a directional tire running in the correct direction now with this bike the front wheel I actually turned the tire over so that it was running in the opposite direction you would think with a front wheel you just swap it over with a skewer but actually I lined up the logos that were inside the hubs so that both the front and rear logos of the hubs lined up the same way so that was just me being a little bit fussy I suppose and then we also here had this cap for the valve itself had got a hole in it where it had been over tightened at some point the thread from the middle had popped through the center so I replaced that cap as well next up we're going to sort out the chain set get that back on the bike so we'll pop that on I'll tighten those up torque them up make sure the torque setting is absolutely correct and that's what we're now doing there so we begin to get the components back on the bike so I hope you're enjoying this video I noticed recently that we're, we're really approaching the 30,000 subscribers now me and Simon are over the moon if you're one of our subscribers if you've been here from the beginning thank you very much and please do subscribe to the channel another little detail here that I noticed was the tail of the front derailleur has been kissing that pedal arm probably all its life and you can see there how it's damaged the pedal arm for the sake of a simple snip off and a new tail end on there and suddenly we've got a tail that is no longer fouling with the pedal arm clicking away now this was also another one of the reasons probably why this customer replaced that cassette in the first place with these shifting problems was the rear derailleur cable had begun to fray off so you can see there how it frayed at the pinch bolt and it had run itself up through the outer coiled itself up to the point where it was actually out of the out of the other end and would have been causing problems with his shifting so we're going to swap that out we're using one of our super slick cables these are a lovely tightly wound stainless steel cable again we list those on our website but look at the difference here to that return of that spring on that rear derailleur it's no longer hanging it's now springing as it should so with the new cable that we're now putting in here the pivot point there re lubricated and sorted out the shifting of this bike along with the eight speed cassette is going to be absolutely 
worlds apart from when the bike came in and probably even better than when the bike was brought new so this bike is now shifting when it leaves the shop perfectly on goes the rear brake again thumb adjusters i like to lubricate because it stops some binding there's something you don't use every day but when you do need them you do need them and if they're bound up in the bike they can cause all sorts of problems so we make sure that all the thumb adjusters throughout a bike they've got a thumb adjuster on a frame or on a derailleur or on the brake like this and make sure that they are all lubricated when i service a bike so that i know that the, the future proofing of that bike has been completed correctly so now we can return the wheels to their position on the bike so on goes the front on goes the rear and now i'm going to pop on a brand new eight speed chain these chains are fantastic they're a very very high quality chain nice shiny silver we actually now have listed these on our website as well we keep getting requests for our chains this eight speed chain is as good as our 12 speed chain they are a really good quality chain another little detail that i know it's on the frame here there was accessory bolts missing and they just started to go rusty so i popped a little bit of copper grease on there and just spread it a little bit on there so that we don't get any dissimilar metal corrosion between these two components as we put them on so i'm putting new bolts in there they're stainless steel with a little washer to cover up that rust just as a little detail to present the bike a little bit nicer to the customer when it's finished so i turn the wheels a little bit of adjustment on the thumb adjuster check the gears are working and as you can see there up and down the cassette and the front chain rings absolutely perfectly check that the brakes are nice and square on the wheel and that it's braking evenly on both sides of the rim so that the caliper's pulling in nicely and now i can work my way through with the torque wrench you can see here these levers were a little bit loose in themselves but so too were these crown bolts these were all very very loose i'm surprised that he hadn't braked and the whole handlebar and tipped down on him when he was riding along with this bike certainly needed those doing up and the service alone was worth it for that just line up that fsa logo make sure that again that's a little detail that makes sure everything's nice and lined up and that the bike presents well to the customers when it goes back so that's what i did there as well talk those up talk up the brakes the front pads here were loose again we hadn't touched those we actually kept those on there they weren't worn too badly so they were okay and also things like the pedals i go right through a bike so i'm doing the saddle and the seat post clamp and all the various bolts along the bike all the way along the bike i actually present a sheet with these torque wrench settings written on there to show that i've checked them and i tick that as i go so i present the bike with a service sheet as well when i've completed the service so you can see here a very subtle difference in the before and afters but a massive difference to this bike this bike has gone from not riding nicely at all to riding perfectly so I think this rider will be quite shocked at the difference we've made. So thanks for watching. Please do subscribe. Drop a comment in the comments below as to what you think of this service. And we'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.